walk through for my sister, but others might appreciate this. Uh, I'm in Michigan right now. This is not an all-in-one outside unit. This is just the condenser with coil and condenser fan. I'm just gonna show you how to clean here and out there. And the first thing that you wanna do is disconnect the electricity coming to the unit. So I've turned off any HVAC requests from the inside thermostat and I've pulled this service disconnect. You can see that these two connect and these two connect. So the inners are still hot. The outers are going to the machine and I used a non-contact um, electric voltage tester to verify that. Right after the electrical service is disconnected, you wanna remove these four bolts that hold the fan shroud on. The cable is probably too tight to just lean it back, although maybe yours is different. So I also removed a bunch of eight millimeters so that I can take this top cover off and lay that all back together. Live and learn, and this channel is not about hiding mistakes. I decided to put these four bolts back in so that as I tip this whole assembly back, it just stays together. There was also a small strain relief in there. Let me just zoom in, come on. There was a small strain relief in there that I needed to take out on the harness there, down there, it's stuck right there so that I have enough slack. So now I'll bend it back. All right, in order to get enough slack to lay this whole thing back, I had to take off this cable management tie and I had to snip um, a zip tie that keeps all this stuff bundled together. So you'll wanna replace that, keep things nice and tidy. Inside, you can see how much debris there is. Uh, debris here doesn't make a super big difference. Um, that's your compressor, by the way. I misspoke when I said it was only the condenser and the fan. But all of this debris on the outside um, can make a big difference, especially here on the back side, you can see. I'll show you that more in a bit. And basically, when an air conditioning condenser is working, it is trying to dump heat. So heat is being taken inside the house. It's um, warming up the refrigerant. The refrigerant is running through this pipe. And these fins purpose is to get the heat from the pipe distributed through the fins and then out to the atmosphere as fast as possible. So anything you have that impedes um, that heat transfer affects the efficiency of the system, affects the efficiency of your AC system. Um, that was a bit redundant and makes the compressor work a little bit harder. Now, I don't know exactly how big of an effect this stuff has on there. Um, I don't know the numbers on that. I've studied them for automotive, but not for home. But the point is you want them clean. And so, you know, doing this once a year or once every couple of years is a good practice. Only seven additional screws to get all that off. And now you can even more clearly see just how dirty this whole system is. Again, I don't know exactly how much it affects the efficiency. We're gonna start by just washing this with a hose. Um, I'm gonna use a pressure washer, but I'm gonna keep a good distance. A normal garden hose will also work. And what you really wanna avoid is just that you, um, you know, sort of crinkle or damage these fins. There is a tool you can buy. I don't need it, and I, at the moment I don't have it. There is a tool you can buy. It's called a comb, a condenser coil comb, and you can straighten these back out if you damage them, if your kid throws a water balloon at this thing like I did when I was a kid. Um, but you wanna get these things nice and clean and then uh, we'll clean the inside. Oh, we're almost done. I just thought I'd share a few tips. Um, I'm using the green tip on a pressure washer. No damage at all. I'm just keeping a bit of a distance. Um, even when I get close, there's really no damage in the fins. One thing you wanna do, spraying this kind of stuff from the outside doesn't work as well as spraying it from the backside. So um, most of the debris has gotten onto it that way and it's easier to push it back out. The other thing is um, in here, you have these little um, kind of uh, tunnel systems or whatever that allow um, flood control. So spray in there and get those cleaned out best you can. Um, around the electrical stuff, you know, just keep a distance. This stuff is meant to get wet from rainwater. It's splash resistant and all of that. So, you know, don't get in there with the pressure washer into the connectors, but most of the stuff is pretty resilient in terms of um, waterproofing and all of that. So spray the outside, spray the inside from the outside. And as you're spraying, you see the water come out, you know, you want it to be clear. If it's still muddy, then keep going. All right, there's the final result. Pretty happy with that. Um, and I gotta be honest, I've not done this to my own unit in five years. So, um, you know, I don't always practice what I preach, but I'm up here in Michigan helping my sister and wanted to um, get it for her right. So, you know, if you're gonna mow right next to it, or I mean, if your unit is near where you mow, then that's gonna throw stuff in there. So you just kinda gotta check it out for yourself to see um, how fast it's gonna get dirty. Um, yeah, and then basically uh, this is more or less all of the stuff I got out of there. Most of that was at the bottom. That's not a big deal. Um, but any dirt that collects can change the flooding water 
management characteristics of the unit and just the overall heat. So yeah, um, like I said, disconnect the service, couple of bolts, yours might be a little bit different. Just lay this fan back, watch the wiring, grab a new zip tie and uh, keep your unit clean. It'll save you money. It'll keep your compressor from running hot. It'll keep your condenser fan from running so hard. And overall, you'll have a uh, longer lasting unit. All right, folks, if you didn't like that, no problem. Give it a big thumbs down so that I know. If you did, I'm happy that it helped you. And uh, Martha, if you're watching this, this is how to do it every couple of years to take care of your unit.